Hey guys, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Today is the day, guys, you want to know how to kill fire ants in the lawn. Simple process, right? Okay, you're for next. Look, I'm going to get right to it, guys. Now, you saw that thumbnail. This right here is the Orthro fire ant system, fire ant kill system, insect control system, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. And I got a lot of stuff down here. I'm going to show you how to use each of these to prevent insects and fire ants, spiders, crickets, fleas, even grubs out of the lawn for six months. Okay, y'all for next. So you'll notice that all this stuff says six month control. When you're in the store, like I said, you can get the three months to six months. I prefer the six months because it's gonna last a tad bit longer if you wanna hit it just one time during the season. So if you look closely, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things you can use and this is the ortho dial and spray that's going to come in handy i'll show you how to use that but we got these eight things that you can use to try to prevent or to prevent insects in the lawn especially fire ants now i'm gonna start off with the first one which is this right here okay guys look i'm gonna go ahead and show you this one first right here now this is the 12 month extended control right here bug be gone now just a side note for you home defense, ortho home defense, it's the same thing, guys. Same thing. You could treat it the same way. I got both of them, both of them just in case. But this one right here is with the battery, guys. And you know I'm all about the I battery. I want to show you this real quick. You see this right here, guys? Comes with the battery, guys. Follow the instructions on how to use it. But I just want to show you how you start. Even though we're tackling fire ants, you need to start with the perimeter of your house. This right here, take it. Now I got the battery because I love it. Spray right at the door seal, around your door seals. These cracks right here, spray all that up here. Now, your window seals, let me right, go over guys, that same way here, guys, around your window seals. Same thing, spray it all the way around the window, all the cracks leading into it. Guys, this is gonna help keep bugs, fire ants, spiders, crickets, mole crickets, whatever, from getting into your house right here. Right Another here, thing guys, around your house. This is perimeter defense right here. Spray 12 inches or maybe two feet up on the wall. But when you spray this, make sure you get it wet. Now, I'm not sit, saying sit here and pee on it and make it absolutely <laughs> drench. But you want, this is how you create that barrier. Now, this stuff is supposed to last 12 months. We all know it may not last that long, but when I get through showing you all these defenses that you can use, this is gonna prevent a lot of fire ants, regular ants, spiders, crickets, and other insects from getting into your house. So just go down the border, your little um, cable control boxes, spray behind those, all the way behind them. Get on top of them also. When you spray these windows that have these screens in them, make sure you get on the inside right there now you can't get on the inside of that but spray all around the window also. okay guys even along your garage door spray that spray all around the garage all the way around even these little holes like that you see spraying those right there now some of you will have these right here where they install the window make sure you stick that wand in there and get all those crevices in there also and if you have a trash can cheat code spray a foot or two up on the side of the trash can all the way around so creepy crawlers won't crawl up into the trash can. okay you are for next and this next one right here guys it's the granular let me show you real quick now this bag right here actually says it covers up to 33,000 square feet guys we're going to go at the highest rate with this i always believe if it's, it's a six month control go ahead and double up on your applications uh, matter of fact i'll show you what i'm talking about on the back of the bag and what i mean by double up may be hard to see but it has the scott's edge um spreaders and stuff down here guys we're going to go at max rate if you got a scott spreader set it at four and a half you got a scott's elite set it at four three fourth you're going to be putting down 2.3 pounds per 1000 square feet that's actually more than what the bag says so it's not going to cover 33,000 square feet you may only be looking at about 15,000 square feet if you go at that rate right there. easy to apply guys simply cut the bag open Put your spreader on the des uh, desired spreader settings. Pour the product in. 
And guys, you may want to go ahead and do a border pass first, but go ahead simply put it on the lawn. After you put this on the lawn, you're gonna need to water it in or wait to irrigation. I prefer you water it in yourself so you won't have a total washout. If you water it in yourself, you give it time to get down in the soil and lock in. Same way with your rock beds, with your bushes and shrubs at it. Hit it with something like this. Like this is the REOB 18 volt spreader. Listen. See how fast that was. You can do it over here also, around your bushes, on your bushes, any way you want to spread it, guys. Put this stuff down. Okay, guys, let me show you another cheat code right here. Okay, I got the hand spreader right here. Along your property line, I will go ahead and put down another application right at the property line to prevent those ants and bugs from coming into my yard, all right? Okay, guys, same way up against your house. Fortify your house. You already sprayed it on the wall. Hit it again, even though you already came by. Put an extra barrier up against the wall. And that's look, same way with this. Now, this is the liquid hose in. This bottle covers about 2,700 square feet. Real easy applicator. Let me Real show you easy. how to Give it a good shake. All right. Holds in connection right here. Make sure there's no dirt in here and that there's no dirt in here and that there's a seal. I don't know if you can see inside that. There's a seal inside of there. Screw it on. Make sure the water's on. You turn it on right here. You see where it says water on. Make sure you get a good shake. Once it's on, then start skeeting it all over the yard. Okay guys, now this one right here is the ortho fire ant kill itself. Kills, this is just for the mounds right here. Now notice it doesn't say six month control on here, but it's pretty powerful. I wanna show you this first before I show you this. Now this is actually the easiest one to apply. <clears throat> Let me show you how to apply this one and why I don't really suggest it at all. Now they want you to use like two thirds of a cup of this stuff. But this is why I don't, I don't suggest you buy this unless you're just trying to do a mound. But if you're just trying to do a mound, you're not going to get rid of the entire problem. You got to treat the entire yard, guys, not just the, the mound. But look, the ingredients on this is, and I don't know if you can read that, but I read it. It's got um, bifurcin in it, bifurcin, the big fancy word in it. That's the same thing that's in this bag. And a matter of fact, they look the same. So essentially what you can do with this, you could do the same thing with that bag right there, but I'm gonna show you how to use it just in case you bought it. Okay, right here in this area, I got a couple of mounds. Now I've already treated these and they're already gone. Don't really have any mounds to use them on, but I'm gonna show you how they want you to do it. They simply want you to pour, sprinkle this stuff over the top of the mounds. All right. And then sprinkle it like up to three feet all the way around the mound. Now I'm on a strip. So I'm going to go in between and make sure you do this when the mound is not active. Now, when you when you pour this on here, they're going to start coming up. We know that, but just try to do it while they're not active. And the reason they want you to do it while it's not active, because if you can get this down and get that water in the mound before they actually start coming up, that water is going to flush down in the mound and kill them deep in the mound. Then they want you to pour two, two and a half gallons of water on it. Check it out. Start on the mound. And don't, don't just spl splosh it down in there, guys. You got to kind of do it slow so it'll work its way down in there. And let that soak in the mound. You do the other one. And then you just pour the water where you, where you put that, that, the residual stuff at. And that's it. That stuff is going to go down in the mound. I can hear him screaming, oh, what the hell? Oh! Oh, and it's gonna go down in the mound. It's gonna kill the queen and therefore eliminate that mound and keep it from reforming. Hopefully you can see that. This ore thing smells to high hell. For anybody who's ever smelt this, go ahead and put it in the comments and let everybody else know that hold your breath while you're pouring this stuff out right here. Real easy application, guys. Just sprinkle it on the mound. Just like, you know, you're putting seasoning on a chicken or something like that. 
Just put it on there. I don't care how much you put on there. Read the instructions. They're going to say so many, but no, ain't nobody got no teaspoon. Ain't nobody measuring this. Just sprinkle it on that mound, guys. What's going to happen, they're going to track that stuff back in the mound, and they're going to die. Okay, guys. Now, this one, if you have a severe case of fire ants, all right, or any other type of insect in the lawn, but fire ants in particular, Six month protection. What I, I'm I'm not gonna show you how to do this because it's the same way as this bag right here. Put it in the spreader and start spreading. The spreader settings are back here on the back. Scott's Pro, Scott's Edge Guard, two and a half. Uh, Scott's Drop Spreader. Put it on four and a half. But what I wanted to show you is this: the granules of this are a whole lot different from the other ones. Now. The other ones are like the ones in the back you see back there, but those are kind of like beads right there, and they have a sweet smell to it. So apply that the same way you apply this right here if you have a severe case of fire ants. All right, guys, and this is kind of like the last thing right here. Now, this is the liquid right here. Um, has one or two other different ingredients in it, but the way you apply this, guys, is this. 1.5 ounces in there to one gallon of water i've already done that now if you're going to use the ortho dialing sprayer pour it in here all right you don't necessarily have to fill it up but don't add water to this all right once you got it in there screw the lid on once you got the lid on put the dial on one point you can see it right there guy 1.5 ounces of one and a half ounces right there put it on that right there what's going to happen is when you start using this for every gallon of water per se, it pumps out. 1.5 ounces of that fluid is gonna come out of this right here. Okay, so I just wanna show you me switching over to my RYOB backpack sprayer. Guys, I love this 18 volt system. That's the hand spreader right there. Simply take that battery out and check it out. It goes right in here. All right, I'm gonna use that and I just wanna show you a few things real quick. Okay guys, and like I said, you can use this the same way you use that, that battery pump. You can spray it up against the wall anywhere, but when you treat your hedges, you get more coverage doing this this way. Remember, it was 1.5 ounces per gallon. But what I want you to know is this. When you use this, stick it down in there and make sure you get the branches on the inside because that's what the creeper crawlers are crawling up on. All right, guys, same way out here on the vanity strip. See how much easier that is right there? Here's another cheat code. Same way with your trees. You can spray all the way around them. You gotta keep the creeper crawlers from going up the tree, fire ants, from making nests up there, whatever the case may be. Okay, y'all, for next. So hopefully that'll teach you how to get rid or kill those fire ants before they even start. Guys, click here and watch my last video.